on today's episode. I got a wallet! I can't believe I found this! Oh, man. You know what type of phone that is, Britain? It's not an iPhone! It's, it's a no phone. It's a U-phone. Oh! Dude, what is that? It's insane, man. And you didn't want to die today! Who knows? This could have been stolen. It could have oh, yeah. been a murder weapon. You never know. Hey, I just wanted to stress that this is not an emergency. I was scuba diving with a friend of mine. Came across some sort of semi-automatic rifle. That's some like sort a of... serious gun. It shoots someone and throws it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like in the movies, right? As right now, we were in the police department. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that really on a live stream. We're locked in. Oh my god, wait. We're locked in the police department, dude. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's going on guys? Adam Brown Adventures here. Thanks for joining me on another scuba diving adventure. Today I'm at one of my favorite spots in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm out with my buddy, Depths of History. What's going on, man? Going? Say hi to the people. How's How's excited today? Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a mixed emotions today. It's a very, very murky, murky part of the river, but yeah. we're going to try it and see what we can find. Yeah, it's it's higher than normal. It's less visibility than normal, but I still think we're going to be able to find some cool stuff. Hopefully, if this is a video that you're watching, that means we probably found something. So we're about to get our gear on. Britain's already got his stuff on. I'm about to get mine on, and uh, it should be fun. It's freezing today, but we have our gear, so... I think we'll survive. So let's get everything on and get in that water. And this is how you look professional. This guy right oh. here. How long do you think we're gonna stay out today? I'd say 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Yeah, I'd we're say. We're gonna get in there and be like, man, we can't see nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and they're but. immediately gonna get out. I ain't even wearing fins. Good luck. Appreciate it. <laughs> all right, guys, got all my gear on. Let's walk down to the water. And get my fins here. It's gonna be a cold one. Look, there's a pineapple right there. Is that like a Hindu religious ceremony thing? Ceremony thing? What Ritual. are they called? Ritual, yeah. Ceremony Dude, my fingers thing. are already cold from my gloves yesterday. Why don't we go? Well, we need to get down over there. Me and Britain are trying to find uh, the best pathway in here. <laughs> hey, Britain, I got something for you. Oh, gosh. You like that? I didn't need to see that. I know your audience did. All right, guys, we just got down here. There's the bridge that we're going to. There's actually four bridges over there, and it's not the clearest of days, but I mean, you can see a little bit, at least right here at the edge. Oh, God. I feel like we were just in the cold water yesterday, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now we're here again. Oh, God, I feel it in my feet. You ready? Let's do this. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on another scuba diving adventure. Today is one of the coolest spots to actually go diving in the river because there's four bridges, tons of people on tubes and kayaks that go down here all the time, and there's tons of history. So right off the bat, I find some trash, and we always try to clean up as much as we can. And here's like an old, maybe a whiskey bottle or something it looks like. So as you can tell, the water clarity is not great, but I'm still managing to find some treasures. I just found those sunglasses. This is some random metal scrap. There's a ton of this under bridges, and it's kind of hard to figure out what it is. As you can see right here, I pop up underneath the bridges, the first bridge, and I'm kind of making my way down. And here was like some metal rope. I'm not sure why that was in there. So a lot of times we find cinder blocks and people like to use those as actually homemade anchors for their boats a lot of times. And I thought this was like a gun barrel, but I think it was just a piece of rebar. This is pretty cool, an old tape player it looks like. And 
And this was like an old little apothecary makeup jar. These are really cool to find. And I can't believe I found this. A ring. I love finding rings most of all because they're so tiny and hard to find, but that one just kind of uh, found me, I always like to say. <laughs> so I dove around a little bit more and I found this old power drill. So basically what I do is I go around to the pillars, all around spots where people might throw off valuable items. And I'm searching around for those. Right here I'm kind of going under the bridge because the current was pretty strong today. But it's also really dark. But hey look, I found some sunglasses. I have to use my dive light which sometimes makes the picture a little bright. But uh, when you're diving down there... It is essential to have a light. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe right now. I would really appreciate it. All right, let's get back to diving. And I just found tons of golf balls out at this spot. More than I could even pick up. And if you guys want a signed golf ball, you can go to adbrownadventures.com and pick yourself up one. Oh yeah. And this was really cool. I can't even believe I saw this diving because the, the visibility was not great, but I found a wallet. And it looks like there's nothing in there, but that's still really cool. As you can see, it's been in there a while. <laughs> And then I see Britton over on the edge, and he says he found something insane. So I'm about to go over there and see what he discovered. Huh. That was rough. Look around, man. Dude! What is that? It'll work. Like, everything comes out of it and everything. This thing is crazy, dude. Dude, that is no insane. It's not a shotgun, that's like a... Here, hold it. Dude, that is insane, man. I can't believe you found that. And you didn't want to dive today. I know, it was right underneath the mud, too. Man, they're coming for you. Dude, that is ridiculous, man. I've never seen a gun like that. I know, I haven't either. I'm sure somebody in the comments will know. I'm sure someone will definitely know. That is sick, man. Call the, cops on that one. Looks, the, the magazine's still in there, I too. Know, it's still in there. Still oh, in there's there. serial numbers on the bottom. There are? Yeah. It looks like there's numbers right there. Oh, there are numbers. I can see. Yeah, I can see something. Dude, Dude that's awesome. That is crazy. There you go. That is wild. Heck yeah, man. I just can't believe it. Like, you guys have found. You know what, five or six guns here. Dude, we always find guns here. We always find guns here. Last time I was here, I found a pistol. And last time I was here, I found a revolver. And I went over to an area that I knew I hadn't been to in the past. And I mean, that is just, that is wild. Who yeah, knows, man. this could have been stolen, could have oh, could yeah. have been a murder weapon, you never know. I mean, something like this, this is pretty crazy, so. You don't throw guns off bridges for no reason. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I continue to dive because now I'm pumped up after Britain found that amazing find. And I found this old coffee mug. We haven't dove in this spot past the bridges that many times, so there's definitely more treasures to be found. So I found this old phone, and this thing had been beaten up pretty bad. And this current is really strong. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is no joke. And this was actually part of a car seat, it, it looks like. And I think this is like a computer hard drive or some computer part. I'm still not exactly sure though. And for some reason there was a coconut shell. I think this has to do with some of the rituals. We found a lot of things like Pineapples, coconuts, and flowers that people put in the river. I didn't think it was at first, but it turned out to be an old payphone. This has been in there for a long time. And then I found this massive phone. And this is in a spot that was very difficult to get to, and I was not expecting to find it there. So I pop up to look at it, and as you can see, the current is moving, man. That is crazy. Oh, God. That was rough. Huh. Just running back, I lost. I'm still trying to catch my breath here. Oh. All right. We're going to get out of the water here. Walk back into the truck and go over the stuff we found. All right guys, just got out of the water, just got done, and it was a pretty fun dive. The conditions weren't amazing, but they turned up better than we expected. I'm pretty cold right now because I don't have my dry suit on yet. I'm working on that. We got Britton out here, and he found uh, something amazing. Yeah, man, it was a pretty good day today. Uh, like I said, I mean, it was pretty murky water. You can barely see anything, but yeah. came across a... Uh, yeah, what did you find, man? What is this thing? Some sort of <laughs> rifle. I have no clue. Um, does look suspicious, dude. That is insane. Uh, you guys thing, know it was, covered, it was literally covered by dirt, and I wiped it away at the at the butt end of this. And that's awesome, dude. It's just ridiculous. So I'm about to go over my other finds because I found a few cool things too. I think we found yeah. some other things as well. I, I think you beat me today, though. Yeah. But that's awesome, man. <laughs> so check it out. I got a few awesome things. I got a couple right, so phones. Here, this one's pretty no, messed up, up but this one, look, check that out. I don't know what kind of phone that is, but it definitely looks a lot newer. Not an iPhone. Maybe it's a Samsung. I'm not exactly sure. But I found you know a couple pairs of sunglasses, a golf ball there. I did find somebody's credit card named Asia. I don't know. And I found a wallet. Look at that. It looks like the wallet has been completely raided though, so there's nothing, nothing left in there. But that's still pretty cool. The one thing I love finding, I can't believe I found this because it was pretty murky, is this ring. Now, Britain says this is a copper ring because look how it's corroding. Um, but look, if that was real, it's covered in diamonds. <laughs> so that is really, really cool. I love finding rings because they're so small and they're so hard to find, but somehow, somehow, I always find them. That's really cool. I can't believe I found all this stuff. Dude, I always find like these John Lennon type sunglasses out here. Murr! Murr. You look like an imposter. John Lennon! <laughs> 
Do you know what type of phone that is, Britton? Uh, that is a. It's not I don't an, know. It's, it's an a, I don't know phone. It's not an iPhone. <laughs> it's a no phone. It's a U phone. Oh. So if I take off the case, oh, it is white. Oh, it says G. Oh, it's a Google phone. It's got the G for Google. So maybe that'll work. Maybe not. This one actually might have an, uh, a memory card in it, so I can check that out. Maybe uh, see if I can get in touch with the owner for that. But that's pretty cool. I got a nice little haul. That thing is crazy, dude. I want to see if this comes out. Like, I'm, I guess I'm gonna wait for the officer to do that. Did you already you didn't? Oh, the button. The button does, pushes out. It does. It does come out. It is coming. Yeah. It is coming out. Dang that! That can't have been in there. I mean, it's pretty rusted, but can't have been not there too, too long. Too long. Yeah. yeah. Probably within the last two years. Probably. I would say. I don't know. I mean, you're the gun expert. <laughs> the gun spurt. I guess. <laughs> there is serial numbers on there, man. Yeah, you can see on the bottom. So we're gonna have to call the police here in just a minute and uh, see what they have to say about it, because that's yep. definitely criminal evidence. I mean, no oh, one throws sure. something like that off the bridge, you know? Yeah, it's it's there for a reason, for sure. <laughs> All right, Britton, so All I right, can't so believe you found that, man. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna give the police a call real quick right here. This is pretty crazy. Hey, I just wanted to stress that this is not an emergency. My name is Britton, and I'm over by the Cochrane Shoals boat ramp uh, at the uh, National Park area, I guess, and I was scuba diving with a friend of mine and we basically look for anything that we can pick up out of the rivers to clean up the environment and I came across some sort of semi-automatic rifle. It does have serial numbers on it. Um, I wanted to turn it in and see if I could get an officer out here to kind of check it out. Well, well, that's well. We had a Cobb County police officer. I actually, I came here two days ago and found another firearm and turned it in to you guys. So I called you guys two days ago at the same location, and a Cobb County police officer did come out. So it is in their jurisdiction. It's yes, sir. they transfer you over to us, but that particular part is handled by the city of Roswell, unfortunately. Um, I know. I just I need an officer to come out here to grab this gun. I, if y'all can send an officer out here, that's what I need. It's been difficult five times I've found guns here in the past and it's taken over an hour and 30 minutes to get an officer out here. I just want you to get an officer out here to take this criminal evidence that we were able to find. It's not that hard. Yes, sir, I'm aware. I was just trying to get the correct jurisdiction. They transferred you to us. I know, and I told them that cop... That, that, that's fine. I'll take your information down, sir. All right, sir. I'll send our officer to that parking lot. Thank you. Appreciate it. I don't know if you guys saw the previous episode, but... I found another revolver here and we wanted to get an officer out as quickly as possible. You know, we ended up waiting two hours out here for the officer. So it just kind of makes me frustrated because they're like, oh, let me transfer you to this person. Let me transfer you to that person. This is not in my jurisdiction. You know, they're just trying to get that weight off their shoulders so that they don't have to deal with the situation. And frankly, I, I don't really agree with that, but we're going to wait for the officers to come here. They're going to take care of the situation and hopefully this goes as quickly as possible. Dude, I've seen other ones too where they go diving and find all kinds of crap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and this is probably like this is wild. 20th, what is that? 20th gun we no found out clue. here. I have absolutely no clue, but that some like sort a of serious gun. Some sort of assault right, weapon. I think semi automatic. Semi automatic, semi -automatic, semi -automatic maybe. yeah. 22. That's what somebody was saying, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> well, we have the cops coming out here to look at it now, actually. We're just they trying should, to. should, because who knows? It might have been oh, in yeah. the commission of the crime. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we found like over 20 guns out here. It's. Because they go over the highway. Yeah, people go over the highway. <laughs> they shoot someone and throw it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like in the movies, right? The parking lot um, in the National right, Park well, area. That's, that's where we are, too. Do you want to come out here and meet it? We're, we're, well, we're standing right here in the parking lot. I'm not sure. Here, do you want, do you want me to send you a pin as to where I'm at? Can I send it to this number? I just said we're actually in the park. We're, we're in the parking lot twice already. But we're going to come back at the other side. Day, so you just wave it down, okay? See at the other side. You might be you might be in the wrong spot, sir. I don't think you're in the same parking lot because we're standing right in front of the entrance. Oh, uh, we just got done. We found a, a gun and all this stuff. Oh. We're trying to get the police out here, but we're having some issues. There, was there a shooting over here? No, we just well. I mean, I, I, a lot of times it's just I guess they might have been involved in crimes and they dump them in the river. I'm not really sure what the confusion is. I can drive over to the police department if that would help you guys. I don't really want to be driving around with that in my car though, that's the thing. It's really just easier okay. to get someone out here. You guys really need to lay eyes on this thing. It's not something that I can just give you a description about over the phone. 
Yes, I do. Um, I mean, can we just drive to the police department, the police station, and give it to them there at the Cobb County Police Station? I know where that is. I mean, we can drive over there. Or do you? Would you? That's fine as well. Yeah, either or. We'll just we'll just do that then. All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Bye. As right now we are in the police department. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that really on a live stream. We are in the police department um, waiting uh, to get an officer to come look at this gun. They told us to come here, so. We're locked in. Oh my god, wait, is that what that noise was? Yeah. We're locked in the police department, dude. <laughs> but they, I mean, they have cameras. We're push, push to locked. exit. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, are you staying here? I'll stay here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi there. My name is Britton Lockhart. I'm currently at Cobb County uh, Precinct 3. I'm in the lobby right now. Uh, I need to talk to somebody at the club. Thank you so much. I'll stay in the lobby for now. All right. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is crazy, man. This is ridiculous, dude. She said she'll meet us right out here. Oh, okay. So this is it right here. I can show you, I mean, if I were in person, you know, at the location, I could show you better where exactly where I found it. Okay, well, where did you park? What's the address for where you parked? Um, it's Cochran Shoals, the walking trail. I can get the, here, let me get yeah, the Yeah, you just pull that up for me, I appreciate it. It's a 1956-2068 Eugene Gumby Road. Problem. Appreciate it. Y'all Looks like it's good. got some serial numbers on the bottom. I didn't know if you guys would be able to get anything off that or I don't know. That's that's gonna have to be the the labs problem. Labs problem. <laughs> All right. Thank Ready? you. You too. All right, guys, that was a pretty crazy video. I hope you all enjoyed it. It was definitely a little different. We've never had to come to the police station to, yeah. to turn in a weapon before. Yeah. As you guys can see, it's right behind us. We just left. and uh, But, you know, as soon as we got here and dealt with this officer, she was uh, really great, extremely professional. So it, it was a great day diving. You know, it took a little longer to turn in the gun. I don't really feel comfortable driving around with one in the car, but yeah. that's what they directed us to do after we. they kept forwarding Britain. He called, like, one person, they forwarded him to like five other people, and eventually, <laughs> the good thing is we got we got it and turned yeah. in. She was yeah. really cool, and cool. you know, yep. we do have to get on the road. We got to end this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching. It was definitely a different experience, and uh, you hit know, the like fun, button. One day, yeah, hit, hit the, the like, like button, subscribe, comment. yep, and hit that notification bell. Yeah, stay updated whenever we post a video. Also, check out Depths of History's channel. I have it linked below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you want to see his perspective. He's the one that found it. I'm going to show my <laughs> perspective of the dive, too. But he's the one that found this thing. So it was a crazy day. Didn't expect it. You know, we never can, we never know when we're going to find a gun. Yeah, you know? But uh, it was really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll see y'all on the next adventure. Oh, oh yeah. yeah.